Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Lena and I am an online ESL teacher. And you're probably wondering, why am I looking like this? Well, in this video, I want to show you how to actually use uh, Chroma Key with your Manicam when you're teaching online. So yes, you need a green screen, right? So, and you would not have your camera to start out with. So I'm going to erase this, I'm going to clear this camera so that you can see where you start. I'm turning everything off so we can go back to square one so you can see how it, it is actually done from the beginning. So on your side, on the right side, you have your tabs that you can work with to actually you know, do different stuff. So this is the preset tab. This controls all of the different presets down here. This is my audio. This is different things. This is the chroma key. This is where we're going to be working with right here. So I'm going to move down there. Everything should be, I'm gonna reset it all so you don't see any of that. So now, where am I? How do I get my camera set up? You might not know this stuff, so I'm gonna help you. So you just press on that plus button. You press on the Logitech camera, that's what I'm using, and here I am, there I am. So then I want to go to the chroma key and I want to turn it on. Now I could do auto, that for some people it does work. It did work for me, but something changed when I moved some lights around. It doesn't work for me so well anymore. So I use color picker and I press my background and I'm going to use custom background because this allows me to pick any picture that I want to choose from the internet and actually put in a folder. And then when I'm ready to teach with it, I just go to the folder and pick it out. The custom, the backgrounds one, two, and three, I think if you wanted to like have like just like a black or a blue or a colored background, that's what that's for, but I don't work with that, so I can't really give you much advice. But if I choose my custom background, this is what you see. I have several pictures that I've saved into my own folder, and for this one, I've, I'm going to use my chalkboard, okay? So I choose that. You can see it is selected in this background window, and that's what's going to be painted on my background. So now I have my little cult paint dipper, and you have to go around and you have to start just filling in where the, there's no picture. And some days it might be easier to do than others. It just depends on your lighting that day. You know, hopefully your, your lighting is very controlled. Mine in my room is not very controlled. So it, it can change depending on the light from outside. Um, but yeah, this is how it would look if it's all cleared in. Sometimes you can see some fuzzies turn up and you just want to, you know, press on them and they generally will, will go away. So there I am. And I have my hair up because sometimes hair can get in the way and it can just look kind of strange in the picture. So I find that it's, if I just have it up, it just, it just doesn't have that little, that funny look to it. So I have it back so we don't have to worry about that in this video. So I'm going to show you how to pick another background, okay? So if I wanted to choose another background, I could reset it, go here to background again, go to custom background, and you know, we can, I have several different things. Let's, this morning I was teaching with the stars, my purple stars. And again, you just fill it in and it goes like this, right? That is, that's my purple stars. Very cool. But if you accidentally touch yourself, then this happens. Then you need to go back, reset it, and do it over again. Not that hard, but that's just, you know, just so you know, that's what will happen. If you go too close to yourself, you will make yourself become part of your background, and you don't want that to happen. So there you go. It looks pretty clear. You can change your lights a little bit. Um, I find that if I, if I have um, advanced settings on my camera, my Logitech, I can open them up. I'll show you that. And if I have this auto white balance on, then it takes away my color and my color does not look as clear. So I try not to have that on so I can, I can change my color intensity and I can adjust how real my color looks. That's what I would do with my, sorry. That's what I would do with my advanced settings, you know? Um, so that my color is more real and it's not real pasty looking. 
I can see. And when I move around sometimes, it's good to move around because you can see things kind of turn up and you can adjust them also. Um, then over here under advanced settings on the Manicam, there are more th things that you can work with here, which I'm still trying to play around with to see how to work with them best. But obviously it affects your color and it helps you become, have even a better, a more clear picture. But I don't know enough about those to give you advice on it, but it's there. I, it took me a while to find it. I knew it was there somewhere, but when you change, when it changed from, from Manicam, um, like when they upgraded, those settings knobs got um, moved. So I couldn't find them and I was looking at other teachers work with them and I just, I couldn't, I didn't know where they went. So there they are. If you ever wanted to look at them, there they are. So I hope this is helpful for you. And you know, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this. Let me know how you like working with it and whatever else you want to ask, it would be great. So thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day. Bye.